Hi there. Do you have a passion for stock picking? Do you think you have an edge in selecting the best stocks? Or are you an investment club officer of your school who would like to set up a neat competition? Or if you really have no interest whatsoever in stocks, are you curious how Google spreadsheets can be used to create such a competition? All right, check this out. What we have here, this is the output page of our investment club competition. And what this competition is, is for all the members in your investment club, they are going to make a decision, a buy or sell decision on a stock that is recommended. If their decision is correct, we're going to take the total number of correct decisions divided by all the decisions they've made, and that will get you their batting average. At that point, we can rank all the players by their batting average. The higher the batting average, the better the result. So let's take a look at how this competition works. Let's say that your club meets in September on a weekly basis, and during each week, someone is going to pitch a stock to, as a recommendation. At that point, all the different members in your investment club can make a decision of whether they want to buy it or sell it. In three months' time, let's pick a date of December 16th today, in three months' time, we're going to evaluate how good that stock did. Did the stock price go up? And if that stock price went up and you selected the option of buy, then that would count as a good decision. All right. On the contrary, if the stock price went down and you selected buy, that would be a bad decision. However, if the stock price went down and you selected sell, good decision. In contrast, if the stock price went down and you selected buy, bad decision. All right. So let's take a look at an example here. Sony, the execution price, that is the price on September 7th, was $11.64. The current price today is $10.96, so the price went down. Therefore, any investment club member who clicked or who selected the sell option would have made a correct decision. And so how this works then is we use a function called Google Finance with the attribute of price to determine or to calculate what the price of the stock is today. So in this case, you would need to know what the tickers of the stocks are, and you would put that in column A. And you can use this formula to drag it down, and it would calculate the current price for every single ticker located in column A. Now, the execution price is something that you would have to put in to the spreadsheet so that you can calculate what the return is. And if the return is negative and the investment decision is buy, that would count as a wrong decision. So we do that across all the different stocks that were selected. And in, this col in these columns over here to the right, we calculate what the return of the stocks are. And so if the return of the stock was negative, for this particular person, that would be a poor decision. And we use all this data here and aggregate it in order to calculate the number of correct decisions out of all the decisions made, and that would equal your batting average. Now, one question you might have is, why do some people have different number of decisions that are made? And we set up a rule such that if you feel, as a club member, you don't have enough of an informed decision, you can opt out and not even make the decision of buying or selling. You will notice that these are the only two decisions you can make because we use a data validation option so that the person can either select buy, sell, or blank. Okay then, so this is kind of a neat competition because you will not know, nobody knows, what the price of a stock will be in three months' time. But you can try to make an informed decision using a buy or sell decision making um, option. And you can take a look and evaluate how well you've done relative to all the other different members in your club. So take a look. This is a bar chart here that will show you what the batting average is across all the different members of your club. Now, of course, you can, you can vary up, edit the rules a bit, modify the competition to your liking. But this template here, this Google spreadsheet template here, provides a great start for starting this particular competition. All right, feel free to check out our videos on the following. Data validation, Google Finance, 
the if statement. The sorting function, which we used here to sort by rank. And finally, the bar chart. All these were used in constructing this spreadsheet. Okay, we'll see you next time.